So we're on to layers. This is section 2.14, chapter 2, Affinity Designer for an iPad, <clears throat> using the workbook that's for the desktop. But herein, I'm on the iPad. Now, page, 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 page 92, 93, and page 94. It sounds a lot, but there's only a couple of things here. Creating a vector layer. On the Layers panel, select the Layers and Groups artboard and click Add a Layer. Well, we're on the Layers and Groups artboard. On the Layers panel, Layers and Groups artboard, and select Add a Layer. Well, that's that one there. You can see we've got Vector, Pixel, Mask, Empty Mask, or Empty Group. If you want to introduce Creative, um, objects or retouch raster strokes, you can enter or add an empty pixel layer by clicking the adjacent add pixel layer icon or jump to the pixel layer persona and begin painting. Well, let's try that. We'll jump to the pixel layer persona because we're currently on, let me show you, designer the pixel layer persona. Okay, we're currently on the Pixel Layer Persona. Select the brush, and there we go. And that's on that layer that we had added. Now we can rename the layer, not by touching it as the desktop, but by going to there, select that, and let's call it... Um, Okay, let's call it Moon, which is what they've got in the book, so we might as well use the same thing. Then we go back to Layer Options, and there we are there. You can see Moon is there now, and that's a new layer that we've added in there. Layer Locking. Locking is useful for protecting your work or fixing the position. Now we want to lock Moon. We've got it highlighted. And that was the, the stack of paper up there, if you like, next to the pin. And we lock it. You can see the little lock is attached there now. And that took it off. By tapping it, there we go. If you tap that, it takes the lock off. So you actually have to be fairly careful with it. Hiding and showing layers. On the Layers panel, click the Show Hide Layer. Checkbox on the Pixel Layer Entry. Now you can see in the image, you've got the squiggly line that I drew. And unselect it. So it's exactly the same as um, Affinity Photo in that sense. Now then, I'll turn the page. If I can single-handedly turn the page. One of the tiny little problems of trying to use the um, iPad here. We've got groups. Now, creating groups. This is page 94. Expand the example layer and select the seven unnamed shapes and curves using the shift key or drag a marquee over the rocket's objects. Well... Expand the example groups. Let's move that up. Now, one of the easiest ways of doing this, if you're using the pen, is to select the unnamed group. Well, some of them are named, some of them aren't. Now, how did it say to do that? The seven unnamed shapes and curves. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And you just drag to the left, 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 and drag to the left. There's seven shapes that have been named. To create a group out of those, you go to the little jigsaw piece at, right at the top, that one there. And there we have a group. 
That works in any object. Let's hide the wiggly bar. Let's rebuild it. And there you have the groups. It's the group. You can rename it from group to whatever you like. That's all there is to that last little section.